This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Pixamins. Hey everyone, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this trippy looking typography animation inside of After Effects without using any plugin. It's super easy to create and it's super fun. You can experiment and create some unique typography animations. So make sure to watch the video till the end so you don't miss out on any of this amazing tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you by the end of this video. So with that said, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's keep it full HD. That is 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as a main render comp. Hit OK. Then let's create a new composition again. This is going to be a text placeholder. So let's call this text. Hit OK. And then we can select the text tool and type in anything that we want. I'm going to type in something like maybe flow. All right. And for the font, I'm using the monumental extended, which is a free font. I have mentioned the link in the description and you can also download it from the project file, which is free to download. Link is in the description. And if you appreciate the free project file, please do support us on Patreon, by the way. All right, so here we have our text. I'm going to hit control K to bring up the comp settings and bring down the comp size so it fits the text. So I'm going to bring that down like so. All right, unlink this and also adjust the height. OK, then hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. I'm going to keep it black and then select the rectangle tool. Set the stroke to around five or seven, fill to none, and then create a shape like this just to add some nice lines to the composition. So you can see we have this kind of a look. Let's call this lines. All right, so far so good. Now let's create another new composition. Gonna keep this 1920 by 1080 again. And I'm gonna call this scene. Then drag and drop in the text composition that, that we just created. Go into fix and presets and search for an effect called CC capital. Double click to apply that. And then expand the right and the left side. So let's set this to somewhere around 2000. And this one to 2000 as well. Okay. I think it's a bit big so I can hit S and bring down the scaling just a little bit. Maybe around 80% should be fine. And then we can animate it. So select it, hit P to bring down the position and create a keyframe. Let's move this right over here. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's move this like so. So now if I preview this, we have a really nice movement in our text. All right. So far so good. Now let's go into our main render comp and drag and drop in the scene composition that we just created. Go into effects and preset and search for CC cylinder. Double click to apply that and now we have this nice cylinder as you can see. Let's set the render from full to outside and I'm going to animate the position and the rotation of this. So first of all, let's bring down the Y position like so and I'm going to rotate the rotation X like so. So a little bit, maybe around 20 degrees should be good. And for the position 150 is looking good. Let's create a keyframe on the position and the rotation. Go to around one second and 10 frames. Bring up the position like so and set the rotation to minus 20. Maybe I'll set this to Yeah, that looks good. So now we have something like this. Before you proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about our today's sponsor, Pixamins and tell you guys about the Android Mockup Builder. It is an exceptional tool to showcase your animations and design in a much more easy and realistic way. 
It includes over 200 fully customizable scenes that can be viewed and imported via the Premium Builder extension. With the Android Mockup Builder, you get three realistic smartphone 3D models that is the Galaxy S22, Galaxy Z Flip and Galaxy Z Fold. It also comes included with video tutorials and the pack also requires you to have Element 3D in order to customize the scenes. You also get an innovative slider control which opens and closes the devices. This way you can easily animate custom open and close animations. It's an Element 3D template meaning you can create custom animations in real 3D scenes easily in of After Effects. So make sure to check out Android Mockup Builder, the first link in the description below. Pretty nice, let's select the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them. And now I want to loop this complete animation. So to do that, I'm going to use a very simple expression. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch, type in loop out with a capital O, open and close brackets and in between them, I'm going to type in uh, ping pong. So now I can copy this expression, hit Ctrl C and hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and hit Ctrl V to paste it. So now if we preview this, you can see we have a looping animation which is looking quite nice. Alright, so let's duplicate this, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and then select the second one and set the render from outside to inside. So now we have something like this which looks pretty damn cool. Now let's select these two compositions, hit Ctrl D. And what I'm going to do is first of all change the color of this so we can see it more properly and then bring these two compositions between these two. I mean the old ones. All right. And then I'm going to go 10 frames forward in time and let's bring them back like so. And then select the new ones and set the radius to around 90. Or maybe let's leave that at 100 and increase the radius of the old ones to 110. So now if I preview this, it has delay in the animation and it looks pretty nice. So this, of this kind of typography animation. Now I can create as many duplicates as I want. So I can select these two compositions again, hit Ctrl D and uh, let's bring them between and let's set this to an aqua maybe. Let's select these four compositions and bring them back like so and then change the radius of this to 90 and this one as well to 90. So now if I go here and preview this, we have this really cool animation. So let's add one more copy really quick. I'm going to hit control D and bring this in the between. Set this to maybe pink and let's go to one second, select these compositions and move them like so. And boom, there we have a really interesting animation. One thing I forgot to do here is to bring down the radius to 80 and this one to 80 as well. So here we have a really interesting and cool animation. Now let's make it a bit more trippy. So to do that, I'm going to simply uh, first of all, go right here, select everything and hold alt and right or left square bracket to crop them up. And let's bring them at the very start like so. Then select all the layers, hit control shift C. Let's call this animation. You can call it whatever that you want. And let's go into effects and preset and search for shift channels. Double click to apply this and set the and turn off the green and the blue channel. So let's set this to off and change the blending mode of this to screen. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select the second one, turn off the red and turn on the green. Duplicate this one more time. Turn off the green and turn on the blue channel and then just move every layer by one frame like so this is going to help us achieve that nice rgb look that makes it feel more trippy so if i preview this really quick you see we have this really nice looking animation and to just add a bit of organic look to this i will be adding a fake motion blur so search for cc i think uh, it's um cc force motion blur yeah Let's apply this and 
set the shutter angle to 360 then let's copy this hit ctrl c and paste it on other two layers and now let's preview our animation so there we go as you can see it looks kind of cool kind of trippy and you can experiment with this particular effect you can add some cool text animation as well if you want to you can even add some colors if you want to so it's a super easy to create and looks pretty damn cool now one thing one quick thing i would like to show you is you could also add some really interesting color to this so i can maybe select this scene and go into effects and presets and search for tint effect double click to apply that and let's swap the colors so it looks kind of like this or maybe let's delete the tint and use a triton color that should work much better i think and i'm gonna make this black let's make this white and this one black as well i think yeah then copy this and paste it on this one and then on these two as well i think yeah so now if i preview this we get these kind of separation in colors so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video if you're watching my video for the very first time please do subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to always get notified you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions all the links are in the description below with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.